157 on the 23rd day, 12th month, 2022. Um, this is, uh, it's over two and a half feet of water. Um, 80 centimeters in inches. It's over two and a half feet. That's, uh, this is over the next 48 hours, and in a few bands are going to see this. Um, this isn't a terrible man made weather event, it's occurring now. Ongoing, uh, that's going to impact Tenants Creek in his corridor over here that I warned you about um, many, many days ago. So uh, either the warning got heated or not. Um, I've read a lot of places. It seems there's a big thing coming for cars and trucks, and they want you new type vehicles and to flood out your road systems and to catch your trucks out in this desert would be a prime way to force the resale. Of a new type product and I do my best to get my warnings out to help save the trucks but you know I try attempt to share a warning in a Queensland convoy group today and I had to had my post uh, declined so I will never share it a private group again that's it I feel insulted and prove me to join a group and post and so I posted and it was disapproved yeah I'm sorry I just wanted to warn you you're going to have a problem on your coastal roads. Stupid fixes itself. So uh, if you want my warning, subscribe to my YouTube. In case I lose this account, you might want to do that. Now I don't ask you to click like or anything like that. Because to be honest with you, I don't like what I have to report on. And I wouldn't want to click like anyhow. Right? It's wrong right to tell the computer we like things we don't. Because it thinks we like it. Maybe it thinks we like this. And when the computer's in charge, this is what it thinks it wants us to do. And while this pigeonhole here is going to be a bit crowded with fish and cracks. Yeah, this is big cracks in this daily river I'm hearing. Yeah, a lot of, lot of nice feedback today from people giving me information. And this area here is, is, is bad. It's not just one model showing this. But I told you days ago you was going to get it. Right? You were showing that total yesterday. And you've gotten rain all day. And you're still showing that total. That's telling you it ain't stopping. I told you as the days go on, these totals will change. Right? The total inundation of Australia over the next days. Because there's nowhere for the water to go. Because the high stretch is completely across the ocean. You know, when I, when I go over here. And I go over here. Get the pressures up. This one has slight truck off room into here. But then what's coming, um, all the way over here. Get a load of pressures again. Doink. And the high is already overreaching. It's already reaching. This 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 will then elongate very quickly. One heated blast from, from here into the ocean or here, one of these atmospheric heaters and this hay is there there's nowhere for it to go all the rotation state though and as we get over into a uh, your new year's day will be here right this is your new year's eve night like right here hey right about here right here is, is midnight new year's eve right you got another one coming in right and it's packing a wallop and this one's coming in a little more south. Uh-huh. Again. And this one will be raging. Look at look at the amount of, of its its totals in three hours are the same as what we're seeing now. If this thing parked there for three hours, it would drop 10 centimeters, that said. This is a terrible, terrible storm that's coming in. But there's not a huge difference in the pressures to make the winds fierce. Right? Even the ice bar showing here ain't all that close together on that particular day. So I'm looking at even New Year's Eve storm coming in across the country for Australia. And as your New Year's Day, it's still there. It's been perked here for 24 hours, dropping an ungodly amount of moisture. So I'm seeing another big storm coming for this area in the tens. And its event don't start straight off, but you're getting two days of it. 
Great. This is geoengineering planning the demise of the infrastructure and the way travel, trade, and transport is done in Australia forever. And they're coming for your trucks. They came for your con your convoy when you were protesting down here and needing to use these roads in February, and they warned you. Otherwise, you would have been caught in these mountains. And I've warned you again and had one of my uh, posts declined. I'll never ask again. I just wanted to, uh, to warn you. I could care less about how many views I get. Hearing that I saved one life in this entire year is worth every minute of my time every day. Because that's what it's all about. What the hell is I list of Mount Ice in the middle of the ocean for? <laughs> Send me right here in the map. All right, let's let's, let's renew this. That's it, not uh, happiness for Robert. Okay, well, it's a good thing I knew my... Uh, was I trying to tell us something? <laughs> Are you going to be underwater? Uh, let's have a look. Let's see what's going on um, right now. Your, your plan for today in the next 24 hours is very, very, uh, very active through the... Uh, through here. I don't even know what you call that particular area. The area of arcing. Because you need an arc to live there. And any mining and you didn't move anything out of them holes or anything is well too late. It, your, your business is sunk if you didn't listen. And I gave you guys days. Days warning on this common. Because I can read EMF beams very well. Read how they move moisture. If you know how they move moisture and you know geoengineering, you know the weather. And well, whether you like it or not, I know those things. Hey, Tannin Creek, how you feeling now, huh? As your long day turns into a long night. Turns into what the hell is the center of circulation throwing straight over the top of me, dumping a bucket. And Christmas. This is Christmas for Tannin Creek. And it's going to park there. You poor folks. This river is going to be wide. Tenant Creek will be Tenant Raging River. The lightning is going to be very, very bad. Uh, the tendrils as they move, the snap and pow, pow is going to cause lightning. You can count on it. So... You know, know your shelters, know what to do. If you ain't got no shelter, know that a bathtub with a mattress over your head is about one of the safest places. Lash yourself to a toilet. I'll never forget, uh, we had some tornadoes down east in North Carolina, and I was going down toward the coast a couple weeks later. And uh, they went through the pickle fields near Mount Olive and all that. And uh, the houses were destroyed, but there was always like a toilet in the air. It, on, it, on its plumbing all by itself. So I always figured, you know, I'd pull a Cleveland and either strap myself in a bathtub or get a strip yourself to a toilet and you'll live. Because plumbing goes deep. But keep your pants in. Don't do a Cleveland steamer. I'm just I'm just going through the week here to showing you your coastal road here. Because this is very important. As the big storm rages across the middle. Oh, I, I can't. This is just too summer. I'm trying to muster some kind of enthusiasm so I don't go PTSD on this. Yeah, I've seen this coming. Yeah, I got a weather ball. I look at it. And it's accurate. And it knows how to explain pressures in EMF to show you why. Oh, yeah, I get it all loaded up here, but whether I go that way with this show or not, I don't know. I'm, I'm so worried about the Northern Territory and the loss of all sorts of life and ways of life that large indigenous communities live out here. How are they going to fare during this? How are they prepared? Who's giving them a warning? I sure hope somebody does. But you know, how do you get rid of a voting block that would go against something that a corporation wants? Get rid of it. You ain't allowed to march a trail of tears no more, so to tear you from the sky. 
which are boom gases. Oh my, how many days of this they got? Since the ninth step and then on the 28th, you got another law, another land old cane forming over there near Tennis Creek again. And it moved from here out to the coast. And this is the closest broom gets to any action. Because they, they turn their beans on from here to here. You got to protect that station. It own the flaw. Can't come south to the station's turn off. And it's just parking there for days. My God, are you guys going to get a bath here? <gasps> if you got a day of that, hey, what you mean? How good you met? Every, every three hours. Six and a half. You got to yet. How long is it taking you to figure out you got a foot of rain in a day? Right here. Coming. On your New Year's Eve. Don't make plans there. Or plan to be somewhere else. And it's hanging around. It is going nowhere. You're planning a full stall of this system. That means Xmas pops a beam up the coast. They cut the river of moisture. Back this up to bring the next one right fucking behind it, you bastards. I, I read your plan. That's your plan. Plain as day. That'll be right here behind you in front of this. To feed it a crisp to top up here. Queensland, you're going to get another flood. Would they dare just give all this up here? Alright, we're going to be watching this very closely as I always say. You know, no rest for the weary. What would I do on New Year's Eve? Enjoy myself? I guarantee you I will not be home from here till evening there. This is my visa day. I go uh, to the Turkish consulate. Clear my name. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> what else do you say to that? When it's coming in three bands like that, you can expect compressing winds, bad hail, damaging winds. This is going to be a rocker of a storm. You're going to have a night of hell. I'm very sorry to be the one to tell you that. And when it comes from the land like that, the rush of dust out across the sea is going to be bad. And some of it whips back or in helps. Around helps fuel the storm. Helps dry things out down here. Get it ready for the fire season. They've created a little dry corridor through here. I'm a bit concerned about. So we'll be watching it. Now, your totals down south ways over the, the holiday times is the same as what I said earlier today. You, you get a break. I'm very happy to see this. You may get your pop-up showers because it's summertime. But all in all, I'm very, very happy about this. You're just getting your, your day times. Now, ECMF has more, more rain for you along the coastlines. Right? This is where you're, you're a 14 line. But you got some places getting a break. And let's just think you get it. Let's just think positive. Hey, Julie, aim Nugzill out at Lord Howe. Play Metallica. You know what to do. I just told you. Aim at Lord Howe. Play Metallica. Don't tread on me, of course. <laughs> I want to knock the rain out early before it comes in. Do not aim it down. If you aim it down, you cause an earthquake in New Zealand. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, these devices, yeah, you could do some incredible things. Do -do 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 -do. Aim them at a fracking site and do that, and it causes earthquakes, and you shut them down. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 a bunch of mini zillas. Oh boy, what do we could do with those? Do -do 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 -do. Rainy, rainy, Easter, Easter is not here yet. Hey, where's the Easter bunny, man? Because Santa Claus is it's getting old. This is too much like Satan. At least Easter bunny don't sound bad, and they look a bit like an Easter bunny. Is why I said that. Where's the Easter bunny? Well, 
They're scheduling rain all along the Bruce, all along the highway, all along the byways, and all along the where you over the rivers and through the woods to grandmother's house you wanted to go, kind of thing. And don't forget to give your grandma's hugs and kisses. Why? Grandmas need loving too. He's looking at him through a glass. And I don't mean like that. My goodness, every time I'm going to turn this place on, it's going to be inundation. Hi, just have the line standing forever storm. Forever stormed. My God, and the highway's going to be fucked. Anybody put a hotel out there was an old ferry boat? Well, you might make some money moving people around on it this week. That trade is totally fucking disrupted. Whatever was growing out here to come over there, you can't get it there. The roads are gone. These roads are gone. A month of that of runoff like that, now whatever the underneath those roads is, the tarmac will start blowing off. Because those things run it fast. You see how fast these uh, floodwaters are running up here? I'm not going to turn on those groups yet, but I got lots of footage. Maybe tomorrow morning I'll garner the permission. And I'll open up some of the groups I'm looking at. Of course, thanking everybody and everything. I have got a lot of stuff I can show. There's been some terrible damage. But I don't want to do it so that you guys think it's it's something to get clicks. Because I do not get paid to do this. Yeah, I'll, I'll, at the end of the show, I'll, I'll tell you how you can give me some support. But in all fairness, I, I give these for free because you have to. There's people in danger. There's an agenda to take your trucks. Elon Musk wants you in his other stuff. He wants you AI'd. He wants you in his battery-operated fleets controlled by his 5G, 6G networks of smart things that eventually you'll teach to drive with your simulation stuff and you won't even need you to take it there no more. These poor folks. That's, that's an ungodly amount of rain coming for them. And yet there's highways here. Well, the good news is no new snow. And the bad news is there's way too much rain. Way too much rain occurring over Ollie Curran. And all this is running into this river that runs somewhere. Tenants Creek, you are tired of saying your name. All the way to the shores. Will this run to Catherine? Where does this run? Where it runs is overrunning on the tents. And it tends. Up in the tip. And it tends. New Zealand and it tends, you're getting a break. Some places are going to have a dry Christmas. Most places will not. Okay. Just accept it. It's going to be very saggy tight you here for your Christmas then it's going to abate a bit the far north uh, monsoon or should I call it the man soon because some of the totals coming up here are unimaginably high you know you're getting in near the half a meter rain you're, you're near 16 inches but the big uh, the big problems through here over the next two days over the next 48 hours, this area is going to have a terrible, terrible problem. Excuse me, it's taking a while to load this morning. Things are a bit slow. It's Christmas, so we got a lot of visitors in the house. It totals different than it was a few moments ago. Listed on the threes. It's all right. Do we have a screenshot of it? Uh huh. What's this? Oh, that was one of the Solomon's demons that he fought. Yeah, I'm looking into something. 
Um, this is um, Indonesia beaming, beaming the moisture down. They turn that station off, and these island group over here all beamed at once because that's Bali right there. All right, there's a volcano over here, so if that thing blows its top because these two things perturbed it, I will not be surprised. But that's a free blast of sulfur, right? So I, I showed you the big totals at the beginning of this forecast. Um, I'm going to keep this short now. Um, we're going to stay safe. We're going to be okay. Um, know where you're driving. Know where to go. Right? Know your land. And if, it's, if you don't know what's down the road, that the road's even going to be there, don't go. Stay safe. I love all of you, and I want you to stay safe and protect your vehicles at all costs. Protect those vehicles. They want them. Don't give them so easily. Don't be a sucker, bitch. Don't be conned, boys. Woot, woot. Big love. Peace. Stay safe, please.